Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Um, today I thought I would show you a real quick tutorial on how to make these really pretty bows. Um, I made these bows using the um, Velvet Satin Wired Edge ribbon from Hobby Lobby. It is in the ribbon section. I'm in the fabric, fabric department. Um, and I also used this ribbon here. Um, it was $2.99. Well, I got a half price, I believe. But um, the glitter cut edge trim, it's really pretty. And it looks like this. It's kind of got a, a silver sparkle to it. Um, and so the first thing you got to do is you've got to cut a piece of ribbon at 7 inches. Let me flip it around this way. So cut a 7 inch piece of ribbon. And then I like to take the wire out and let me show you this one has wire in it and you can you know manipulate these to make them look more fluffy and um, by sticking your fingers in there just like this but they tend to get smashed so I thought I would just go ahead and take the wires out so um, I don't have that that issue so just pull the little wires out of the ends, just like that. Okay, and then take your um, your ribbon. Let me move these up. Take your ribbon and find the center. Okay, you can you can put a crease in it by folding it like that, or you can just hold it up to your to your ruler. And three and a half is half a seven. So then you take your ribbon and overlap it probably just a little more than a quarter of an inch and then do the same with the other side that way you are left with this little bit of overlay like this you do have to have some overlay so that when you gather this up it will stay together okay so then you have this and what I do is fold it in half like this I will, um, let's see if I can zoom in just a hair. Okay. And then kind of fan fold it back and forth like this. And then flip it over. And I do, do this other side like this. And then you're left with your, um, your bow, bow all folded up. And then you need to find the center. So I just hold it next to my ruler. It's just a hair over three, so my center should be about right here. And I put my fingernails right where I want my thread to fall. So then I take some thread, and I just wrap my thread, putting it right up next to my fingernails because I know that's the center. Wrap it around kind of tight three or four times. And now is the time to make sure you've got it in the center. It doesn't have to be exactly in the center because when you put the the piece in the middle. Sorry about that. Sophie. Stop barking, little dog. Stop barking. Okay, and then tie your string. Oh my goodness. Sounds like the dogs are gonna start a bark fest. Okay. So then you have your string tied here like this. Let me zoom back out a little. Okay. Cut your thread. Okay. And then you have this. If it's not exactly in the center, just kind of know, you know, that maybe it's off just a hair so that when you wrap your center on, you can move it over just a little. So then what I do is I took my cutter and I took a piece of this this glitter ribbon. I already have this piece cut off. And I found that if I cut it this way, it kind of leaves strings, but if I flip it over, it works better. And so just cut off a half an inch piece like that. This is the piece that's going to wrap around the center. Okay, get your glue gone. And 
put you a dot of glue on there. Flip it over. See, I'm going to pull it down just a hair like that. Stick that on there. Flip it over. And put some more glue on. I found not to go all the way to the edge because it kind of oozes out. So, then wrap this around your bow. Pull it up and push it right there. And I do have this little tool here that I'm going to use to smash it real good. Just like that. Okay. And if you're wondering, this is the little makeup application brush that you get from Dollar Tree. I know a lot of ladies have been hauling this, and this thing does work. It is, it's really good to use with your hot glue gun so you don't burn your fingers. So, and you're left, this one's finished. This one's so pretty. Isn't this cute? And so it doesn't have the wire in here now so it won't get all smashed and wonky. So, that's that bow. And now I'm going to show you how to make this one with the tool overlay. And it does take away from the velvet, but it's still pretty. I love that color. So, um, I already have my pieces cut out. And they both are seven inches long. So I have a piece of the tool seven inches long and a piece of the ribbon seven inches long. Um, and I have them on top of each other. There is a little bit of overlay or overhang, I guess. It is a little larger than the, than the ribbon, but it works. So see how my bow's finished and has this little bit sticking over? But I think it's still pretty. So, um... So we're going to do the same as we did with the other one. Just like that. And then find the center, which is um, three and a half. Let's see there. Getting all my stuff all messed up here. Okay, three and a half is right there. So I'm going to pull this over a little past three and a half. And then I'm going to do this with the other side also. Uh oh, it kind of got messed up. Let's see, let me just straighten it back up and start over. Okay. I'm going to line it back up. Dogs are distracting me. Okay. I don't know why that didn't reach. Hmm. Huh. Try it again. We'll call that good. It'll work. It's over. It's overlapped. Okay. So then we're going to fold it in half, just like we did when we made the other, and then fan fold it back and forth, and then flip it over and back and forth. And this is what you have. Okay. Okay, and then find the middle. I believe that. Oh, it slipped. Did you see that? <laughs> okay. It slipped. Okay. And you take your thread. The thread's all, it's all stuck there. Okay. I'm not sure I'm in the center. Okay, wrap that around. And then tie it. Neighbor's dogs must have went inside. Got quiet. Okay. So then we have this. See how pretty that is? Okay. And I already have my, my little 
centerpiece cut here. Oops. So I'm going to put a little glue on the end here. That. I think I'm going to stick that end in there. Okay. Normally I would be using a smaller glue gun, but I have them um, out in my car right now because tomorrow I get to go to church to a little girl's tea party and teach them how to make butterfly wands. We're going to do a craft and we're going to make butterfly ones. And I'm so excited for that. Um, it's so exciting when you get to share something you love with someone else. And I'm hoping to inspire some little girls to be all crafty. You know? So that's exciting. And there it is. I might have to do some adjusting. But there you go. Isn't it beautiful? It's so pretty. I just love it. And so, yeah, we've made all these bows, or I've made all these bows. I've showed you how to make two bows, and I hope you um, can take this tutorial and make some. And um, If you have any questions or anything, please ask me below. Um, I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. So um, have a great day, and thanks for watching.